So Mercedes uh, EIS um, mileage programming, uh, something you have to do a lot if, if you deal with stolen ones and stuff like that. Uh, things get stolen a lot, so you have to replace them for customers and you need to set the right chassis number and mileage and stuff. Uh, or sometimes if you're just correcting the mileage. Um, now, firstly, all I can say is on this particular chipset, I've not tried it on any other ones. I've tried it on a couple of these now. Uh, there's another one stripped down there, uh, which is a 1L02M uh, HC08. Um, the CG Pro doesn't work, so it'll read it, but it won't write it. Um, so here we go. So, da, 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 what we got? Um, dashboard, bends. Uh, this is from a Vito. Uh, so there we go. Um, and we can read it, not a problem. Um, but the issue is when we come to writing it. So I will, and I've tried this, and all it will let me do is blank it. Um, so I'll show you that. So there you go, that's the file read, um, and that's the current kilometres in it. As we can see, there's the chassis number. Um, so let's. Do what it's supposed to do, and we change that. Say, so, oh, 60 odd thousand miles, so 100,000 kilometers. Go to right, verifies the encryption, and it'll just fail. It fails. Um, so that leaves us stuffed. However, what I have found is it's just a programmer that's an issue because if I use the IM608 um, with the XP400. Um, we can read it out, no bother, write it, no bother, but we don't have the capabilities or a calculator for doing the mileage, and this doesn't have uh, an external calculator just to make the file so we can write it into there. But what we can do is use a little bit of common sense and open this up in an editor. So, uh, um, well, for some reason it's in Chinese now, it keeps changing between um, English and Chinese. Um, get into that. So that's that one. Open that up. So we've got our chassis number and we've got loads of other stuff. Now, I don't have a calculator for these. I looked online and none of that information was of any use to me. So the best thing we can do is edit bits of data a little bit at a time and reopen it in here and see what co what kilometer is it, business is it telling us so i'm going to do that now i don't know this is going to be a bit long-winded um but it's our option without calculator um and we know we don't want to change the chassis number in this particular one so we're going to start with some bits of code but we don't know what they are so it's a bit of trial and error basically so i've decided to start on these ones zeroed them all out and then when i reopen that in programmer uh, as a file I have changed the mileage so I'm going to try and change it some more and just probably zero out that bit that's A4 so it's the eighth one across so zero zero that let's get this in Chinese don't know why I'll close it and open it I'll be in English again we'll go over what we last did so we'll save it as test mod yes Reopen it in the programmer. Do, do, do. Open. Should be down there somewhere. Oh, there we go. So we are, by the looks of it, I think what all we want to do now is zero out F1 and we'll have zero kilometer ridges. Um, then we can backtrack um, and use a hex calculator to figure out what numbers we want to put in there. But I'm going to test this with, so what we're going to test that as 24 kilometers, is it? Yeah, 24 kilometers. So I'm going to, um, so I've saved that file already. So I can close these. Take me a little USB, whacking them into the or so I'll write it into that EIS there because I've got two exact same ones wired up anyway. Then reread it and test it in there and see what it actually has stored because it might be completely invalid. We don't know. 
let's find out. This is a long-winded way of doing it, but since this tool doesn't work, it's the way we've got. So we've transferred our USB stick across. Uh, go in there, in there. Saved it as test mod, which is that one. Okay, or was it test mod two? I can't remember. But there we go, we're writing in something. Um, I can't remember what it was in all honesty. Uh, but it'll either be 20, 24 kilometers or 4,000 kilometers, whatever it was. Uh, so what we'll do is reread it. Saved me just the reason I'm doing it like that. It saves me rewiring that one because that's right, soldered to that one and soldering that one and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we'll save that back into our um, USB. Save as balls. So I'll do that. Um, come out of there, give it a second, make sure it is running in there. Because while that's flashing, we know it's still loading. And ooh, three times. Another one or not? No, nope, I'd say we're done. Wang this into here. Shut that, shut that. We'll just go into open a file. Uh, yeah, removable drive S. What was in balls? Let's see if we have 24K. And to prove that it's not just the previous one I'd put in there, say we uh, close this, reopen it. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby. Fire up. Yeah, I'm not online with it at the moment. So we'll, I say we'll open that. Go into, yeah, we're in the right place, sorry. Go into that, enter that, look for balls. Oh, because I'm not in the right selection. <sighs> yes, you must do that every time. It doesn't save your previous bends. HCO8. Yeah, open it. Yeah, look for balls. Yeah, so we've got 24 kilometers. And then, so these two are direct clones of each other, They're all the same info. So if I try and write it into there, into so into this one. Yeah, we'll click OK. It tries and it just fails. But we know with the auto, we can do that. Unfortunately, we don't have a calculator, so we have to manually do it. Uh, 